Arabic and Chinese are considered to be the two most difficult languages to learn on earth. 七年前，我学了中文八个月。I studied Chinese, reaching fluency in eight months, and now I've also started getting curious about Arabic. And since I want to study it in the future, I've made tons of researches on this amazing language. But now the question is, which of these two languages is the hardest to learn? So today I want to talk about the differences and similarities, and I want to compare three important aspects that determine every language. We'll talk about the writing systems, the pronunciation, and the grammar. And I will also tell you my honest opinion on which of these two languages you should learn. So in Chinese, each character represents a word, and we've got. Thousands of characters, and each of them must be learned individually. Let me give you an example. If you want to write the character tree, it is written like this. But if you want to indicate to study, it is written like this. As you can see, the two characters are pretty much different from each other, so it takes a lot of time to master every single word. But I promise you that it won't be hard forever. I remember memorizing characters in the beginning was quite challenging, but then later on, once you understand the logic of the language, it will become easier. And now let's talk about the Arabic writing system. The Arabic script is written from the right. Right、to the left, and it is written in cursive style, which makes the language look like a continuous flow. The Arabic writing system is composed by an alphabet which has 28 letters. And of course, once you master all the letters, you can concentrate on learning words. And most of the people who start studying Arabic, they just need one week or maybe two weeks to master the alphabet. So I'm sure it is pretty much clear now that the Arabic writing system is pretty much easy compared to the Chinese writing system. And this is because Because for learning thousands of characters in Chinese, you might need a few months, if not years. And this, of course, depends on how much you're willing to spend every day on learning Chinese. While for learning the Arabic alphabet, you just need a couple of weeks. Before continuing with this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to give to this video a big thumbs up. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, now let's talk about the pronunciation, and I want to give you a little spoiler. The pronunciation difficulty in both languages is the same, is similar. Chinese has some difficult sounds that involve curling your tongue a little bit in the back, like this, z, ch, sh. At the same time, there are sounds like the previous one that I made that are similar to them, but they are different. Like g, c, c. When it comes to Arabic, instead, we might spend a little bit of time mastering the guttural sounds, which are sounds that are made with our throat. Arabic has also a rich vowel system. We have both long vowels and short vowels. However, short vowels are a little bit tricky, and this is because they are often not written. So, like you need to read them, but they're not written. So you might have to pay a little bit of attention in the beginning. Another difference between these two beautiful languages is that Chinese has tones, is a tonal language, while Arabic has no tone. And of course, needless to say, it is more difficult Chinese in this case because, like, if you pronounce a word in a certain way, might have a meaning, while if you pronounce it with another tone, it might have a different meaning. Mandarin Chinese has four main tones and one neutral. For example, ma, 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 ma. So as you can see, if you don't master the tones, you might be ending up saying something that you don't want to say, and you know people might misunderstand you. Okay, now let's talk about grammar, and I want you to first bet, to first guess a little bit, which one is difficult: the Chinese grammar or the Arabic grammar? 
Surprisingly, Chinese has the easiest grammar. Even compared to the English grammar, it's still easy. And this is because in Chinese, we don't have to conjugate verbs a lot like in English or in Arabic. However, there are other aspects of the language that might make the Chinese grammar a little bit challenging, like the sentence structure. So what I want to say is that if you want to go from beginner to intermediate, it will be quite easy for you to master the Chinese grammar. But if you want to go from intermediate to advanced, then it will be a little bit of a problem with the grammar, but this doesn't mean that it is impossible. So now you can guess that the Arabic language has a lot of verb conjugations and also the words change based on who you are talking to. For example, if you are talking to a female or a male, if you are talking to one person or to more people. After analyzing many characteristics of Chinese and Arabic, we can clearly see that although both languages are difficult, Chinese is the hardest to master. Now. Both languages have one problem in common. I don't know if we can call it a problem, but probably for most of us that want to learn the language, it is an actual problem. And this is that they have various dialects depending on the country, depending on the region where you go. And this is such a big thing because sometimes even native speakers, for example, let's take two Arabic native speakers coming from two different regions, they might not be able to understand each other. And this is because the vocabulary might vary, the accent might vary. And so if native speakers have this problem, I'm sure for us it is like quite challenging. Arabic includes Modern Standard Arabic and various dialects. So Modern Standard Arabic is used in formal settings like in the media, like in education, while the dialects are used in everyday speech. While for Chinese, apart from the presence of numerous dialects, we have Mandarin Chinese, which is basically used all over China. Of course, many Chinese people, especially the elders, they can't speak Mandarin, they just use the dialects and Mandarin is used in formal contexts like Modern Standard Arabic. I'm sure now you are asking yourself which one of these two beautiful languages should I learn? And deciding whether learning Arabic or Chinese depends on various factors like your interests and also your career goals. I've lived in China for a few years and I must say that China is pretty much foreigners friendly. And this is also because China has good job opportunities for us with good salaries. Also, a very good point is that Chinese people are pretty much attracted by foreigners. They love foreigners. They are like, oh my God, I want to talk to you, especially if you can speak Chinese. They will try to make you feel comfortable and if you want to learn Chinese, they will be more than happy to help you. So you should ask yourself questions like, would I ever see myself living in Dubai? Would I ever see myself living in Egypt, in Qatar, in China? Nevertheless, it's also true that many times we learn languages just to have fun, not because we want to move countries. In that case, make some researches to understand which culture attracts you the most. Talk to native speakers, ask them about things you are curious about. Regarding study materials for Chinese, you can find like tons of uh, free textbooks and free materials on the internet, while many people struggle to find a good textbook to learn Arabic, so this might be something that you want to keep in mind. Now, you must watch this video and I'll see you there.